guys welcome back to my channel I'm in the car I um, am actually going to pick up my neighbor's sister and it's in an area that I have never been before so I do have my GPS on just to let you know if you hear that um, I think it's like an hour dry tomorrow she does have surgery um, they were gonna do it Monday Day. today is Tuesday um, but they wanted to make sure her blood levels and the infection uh, with the kidney is completely gone her blood apparently as well her surgery is scheduled for um, tomorrow morning I think at 8 15 her daughter said so I'm gonna pick up her sister her sister's gonna stay at her house so this way when I go up there or such she I could bring her up or I'm passing like a some type of farm equipment um so that's what i'm doing right now so i thought you know what i haven't been able to make a video i thought let me just go ahead and do it now while i have this drive ahead of me um i do have to say every cancer patient is different this is true this is a known fact i do have to say that she had stage two kidney cancer and she was on cattle medics which is the same that our friend was on and her tumor did not shrink it actually grew um so it's gotten to the point where they're going to remove the kidney uh, the kidney or the tumor i'm not sure i'll find out more when i speak to her daughter um her daughter's been working and going with her mom and i've been going there with her mom so but i did i didn't know the henson's had went live and then i got a notification that it was on my you know YouTube and uh, I watched it I, I'm just like in total disbelief total disbelief I hope Sally and Jim catch on that the plumbing probably messed up on that side of the house because Jerry Ann uses those flushable wipes she always made sure to let you know they were flushable even though they're flushable they still do not disintegrate enough where they don't ruin pipes. Being that house is older, probably had older piping. You know, Sally, Jerry Ann probably flushed so many wipes in the past 10 years that it backed up that. But Jerry Ann won't take blame for that. You wait and see. There's no way she will take blame for that. So, I don't know. Um, it is what it is. Um, and then when I heard Jim say something about he helped her do two leg lifts and she did one on her own, it just made me think of, you know, her muscles are a trophy. They're just, they're not working. Why are they not working? Because she hasn't used them. She really hasn't used her muscles in years. And also Jerry neglected to say that Lisa came for a visit. Why wouldn't you say Lisa came for a visit? Your friend wants you to move more. If you have stage four cancer, I mean, she wouldn't be harping on you. I, nothing makes sense that you say or do. Nothing. The sore right there in your arm is from your body touching. It's from the sweat. It's from not showering. It's from a lot of things, guys. It's, and she'll blame it on the chemo. You wait and see what she has neglected. To, oh, good God, her taking her vitamins. First off, she had to brush her hair on camera. Like, why wouldn't you brush it before you came on? I'm not going to say much because I've just been caught out in the rain and I don't look great, but you know what? Whatever. It, it is what it is. And then to do those vitamins the way you did them. Are you kidding me? You separated, you named them. Like, so much, so much. Um, oh, she always talks about bowel movements and and how can you take so many Miralax and laxatives? Do you think that's good for your body? Seriously, seriously. Oh, and with this stage four cancer, <laughs> you're on Tylenol with codeine. I forgot what you said. The other ones don't help you or whatever. It. Just stop it. 
And then you think about a GoFundMe for your plumbing, but you wouldn't think about a GoFundMe for your cancer. Your cancer would have been the reason you could have helped with the plumbing, right? No. And then something about um, your SSI, something's not working out right because Jim made money or whatever. When did he make money? When was the last time that man worked? He was working part-time anyways. As a couple, you're allowed so much money per month. And he was only working part-time. Give me a break. And these people, if they believe it and they donate, I don't know. I, I, I can't believe that your tumor shrank a, a significant amount. And this poor woman, her grew. And also, she's suffered two kidney infections. You suffered what? What have you suffered? You haven't been hospitalized for anything. No, because you don't go. You don't do your things. You probably have Jim drop you off because you sit there in the waiting room or something, play it off, and then go out. Who knows for crying out loud? But it's, it's just gotten to the point that enough's enough. Enough's enough. Like, enough's enough. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of like a drizzly, damp, dreary day. Um, I do have my, my eyeglasses on because of, like I said, I've never been to the area, so I want to make sure I could see well. And then um, all the fans and the blowers, and it's all on your side of the house. Oh, but that'll be the addition, right? No, it's your your flushable wipes. They are not really meant to be flushed. They take too long to dissolve. So, and then, uh, that's what you bathe with too. I mean, I'm sure you don't shoot the wipes down your toilet when you wash with them. Um, how about, Jim's talking about you know, doing dishes and such. Well, that's another thing. Sally's bathroom works. Can you tell me why Jim can't bring some dishes? Maybe, I don't know if Sally has a bathtub or just a walk-in shower. I don't know what she has. But why couldn't Jim bring a few dishes over there, wash them up or whatever? There's always a reason. There's always, I'm too tired. I need the energy. What does he do? He doesn't work all day. Like, what do you do? You sit all day. You have wasted your muscles away. Wasted your muscles away by choice. You chose to do this. Because I don't care. You get mad if I share your old videos. Oh, those are old videos. Well, there was one time four years ago that you got up and you made dinner and you showed yourself doing the dishes. Jim recorded you, who Jim was not feeling well. He was sick at the time. He was congested, working in fast food didn't have to go to work because, you know, you can't be around fast food when you have, you know, the sniffles and such. They don't want you there. Maybe they'll have you there washing dishes or whatever. But she goes ahead and says, well, Jim has been my legs for a few years. That was 2017. And he's already been her legs for a few years. She has edited some of her videos too. She has taken things out. Caught it, Jerry. And um, she stated in the video that it was 5,000 steps to make dinner. Are you kidding me? Just like your 10,000 steps to take a shower? Anyways, so when she goes back to the couch, she says, well, I've taken care of you for years. So now, you know, in return, you'll take care of me for years. Wow. Wow. Wouldn't you want to be self-productive? I mean, I understand it's hereditary like weight and, and high blood pressure and diabetes. It's all, it's hereditary. My father was a diabetic. Um, my brother didn't become a diabetic until after his cancer diagnosis. Same with, my mother had COPD, didn't smoke, was asbestos, but she ended up being a diabetic as well. You just, you don't take care of yourself. You still order out. There's a picture, I don't know if I even posted it. Or, oh, I did where there's a different pit bull behind your back, you're sitting forward, you've got some kind of candy um, 
one's on your lap, for God's sakes. It's some popular candy in the area, some popular candy shop. You have to help yourself. If your mouth is that sore and you have problems swallowing, well, by God, I would be to the doctors immediately because my cancer could have spread to my esophagus. And if my esophagus has something wrong with it, where it's blocking me swallowing, which my brother had esophagus cancer, and he had a hard time swallowing and heartburn. So are you going to come up? You mentioned heartburn too. Are you going to come up with now you have esophagus cancer? Just, just wondering, just asking for a friend. And then Jim was going to post three videos a week. He hasn't done that. Nobody has the energy to, to post anything. And if your home health aide is there and seeing you in this condition and not reporting it, shame on you. You know, then I then I want to feel bad for Sally, but there now there's like, why would I feel bad for Sally? All Sally has to do is say, let me see your medical records. Let me see your stage four, grade four cancer, right? Because I'm telling you, she can read those comments real good and she's vocal and, you know, with dementia, a lot of the times in the beginning, it's um, when you're tested, usually, now I don't know, it's been a while, you're tested for your short-term memory. Sally's got short-term memory. Like Sally was on the phone when, or Jerry was on the FaceTime when Sally was trying to pay attention to the plumber. Yeah, probably to divert her or be something because didn't they say it was a tree roots that grew through it? No, it's not the tree roots, huh? Now they're using a different insurance company. There's always an excuse for something. There's always a reason for something. And I do have a comment from Grandma G. Grandma G ran off in Jim in his comment section. It was deleted, but I've got it. Um, I'm just... It's sad that someone, and I know people do it. I've had um, subscribers say that their family member did it and they were upset with them. You know, there was a young TikToker who did it and then said that they did it to bring closeness in the family. That, that laughing about these things and joking about the treatment and and it, you wouldn't put your chemo pill in your cobbler, would you? Would you have a touch in your other pills? You haven't yet to show that. You haven't yet to show that journey, have you, Jerry? Now, last week you said you bet on it a little over a week. This week you said you bet on it a little over a week. Which is it? When did you really start it? Asking. Just asking. You know, and I see this woman scared just scared and believe me she has faith she has joy she has family she has her rosary beads I mean come on you know if you're doing so well let the people know how you've done this how how you how your tumor shrunk miraculously how you no longer have to see your uh, oncologist or orthopedic you you graduated to once a year now compared to every six months usually it'd be more frequently how'd that happen how'd that happen with you you're the miracle right your physical therapy oh my Medicaid don't pay for it oh no my Medicaid the physical therapist office said well my Medicaid they're they're hard to pay or what whatever you have every reasoning in the book for it not to uh, get that physical therapy. Every reason in the book. Yeah. Okay, I had to make sure I turned left here, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know guys. It, it's a little draining to see somebody really going through it and then to get home from the hospital and then realize somebody went live and then to see you know she has, she has something here which is, might be from the dog who knows she had something in here like 
it's gonna happen again there's gonna be you know oh and she's got a video on um instagram where something about laying in her bed being totally disabled and i'm gonna share it i'm gonna put it in this video i always say i'm gonna do that and i forget and i apologize i just i mean i i'm sure there's a lot of subscribers out there that get frustrated as well that that watch this journey that can't believe any of it like a lot of her views I don't think are subscribers I just think that they just watch to see like where is she gonna take this how much longer is she gonna continue this what Jerry might be someone who never admits it until she actually gets arrested or until they actually tell her hey take it down you're done Know, and like I said, th this woman here, she lost weight. Jerry lost none. Jerry's put on weight. And that's with her sore boo-boo mouth and, you know, all her ailments and being in pain. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in pain, I can't eat. I know a few people who, when they're in pain, they cannot eat. But you've got that sore mouth, that tongue that just looks horrific. And then you you can't eat. There, no, you're eating, Jerry. You're not eating healthy whatsoever. Because if you were eating healthy, you wouldn't have put on the weight that you have put on. Now, physical. You need physical therapy. You need daily living skills. You need a lot. And if your doctor knew the little that you could do. I'm sure they would put you in a rehabilitation to get that strength back because that muscle loss is going to take some time to regain. And to regain that muscle loss, you can guarantee to regain that muscle loss, it's going to hurt. You're going to have to push it every day, one or two steps forward. You, you And then you said, oh, I take one step forward and I get pushed back five steps. You do that to yourself. But anyways, I don't want to get myself all frustrated before I pick up somebody that I've never met before in person. I have talked to her on the phone. But so I'm going to turn some music on. I'm going to relax and I'll get this posted when I can. And I'm going to try to remember to add the uh, picture of, I think I already did with the dog behind her back. But I'm going to do the little short that she has out there about how, you know, totally disabled. Jerry Ann, get up, up, get moving, and quit coming up with excuses, please. It has disabled me. In a truly shocking turn of events, my disability has disabled me. In a truly shocking turn of events, my disability has disabled me. In a truly shocking